Greetings, Earth Scientist, and we are going to learn how to use the Google Map. And uh, you've been sent an invitation to your McLennan email, look like this one right here, and you need to select the Open button, and it'll bring you to the map. You can read the details on it right in here for more information about it, telling you that you'll use it for two assignments, the Geology Scavenger Hunt, and part two is for the map our solar system. You will each be needing your own icon and the first person to the map gets to choose their icon and so forth. I have already chosen a flower. I will show you how I came up with that. So right here in the city of Waco you see my flower but what the way you can get there is to zoom in with your hand what I'm moving right here which is your mouse. If you don't like using that, these things in the lower right hand corner will also help you because they are your manipulation tools for this. So you might notice that I have a satellite view, come to base map and open that and you can get different views. This one's your best one, that or the Google Earth 3D. Uh, those are the only two views I want you working in for this map. So I'm going to come on and zoom in and get you a little bit more familiar with uh, Waco, Texas and show you where I've been all day waiting for people to call with questions about Minimaster. Show you where I've been all day and not only is there McLennan College, I can zoom in down to the parking lot level and actually bring you to so you can pick your mouse up and move it. I am in this building and I am right about here. I'm on the second floor and I'm looking out at the parking lot. Uh, that's where my office is right there. So what I did was to get this right here, do you see this button right here? This is add a marker. So I'm going to demonstrate that I'm just going to put another one right next door to it. And you always want to put your name in your marker. See how I misspelled that? That wouldn't be acceptable. You need to be professional. Make sure everything looks right and your descriptions need to be thorough. So this is the science building. That would not be enough information. Double check your work. Make sure you don't have any misspellings because this is going out to the public. You wanted this to be technically correct, accurate, and scientific merit all involved. Then you hit save. Okay. So let's say I want to edit that. Let's say you're like, well, I don't like my button. Okay, that's all right. So let's take a look at it. You can come over here. And when you get to style, go to all items and hit this little bucket right here. And it'll give you colors and shapes and more icons. I just chose my flower right here. You can't have the flower, but you can have any of these other icons. Or you can come back over here. You can choose a shape, a button, let's say you want to make it purple, you want to make it red, you want to make it orange, that's fine. Nevertheless, you're going to be doing that, and the reason you're going to be doing that is you're going to go to sites out in the field, and you're going to take photos. Let me show you what one of those looks like. So I did a draft run of what your assignment's going to look like for the first one, and this entry is not complete, it's just a start. And notice that it's a document, it's a Word document, and it says, uh, Waco wet or it's a wetlands that's the first thing you got to go find and this is sp a specific type of wetlands called a freshwater marsh and you would complete that with a very thorough explanation and if you used any data to support that meaning that wasn't that was published that you didn't create you give that reference and documentation appropriately just like you would in a paper then notice I gave a photo credit even though I took the photo myself. If you take it off the internet or from someone else, you need to give them a photo credit. I did the same thing for site two because in a little bit, you're going to have to save this document and I'm going to show you how to do it now. I'm going to save it as a PDF. First of all, we're going to save it as a Word document so you can make changes and you're going to save it. Notice it's a Word document. Save it where you can find it. I want to replace my existing one. Then to change this document to a PDF, you actually go through the same exact process, except you're going to pull down the drop-down menu and you're going to save it under PDF. As soon as this finishes saving for any reason, we will do that. But going back to your map while that's happening, 
you're going to be uh, putting in a number of spots and I'm going to zoom back out for a second and make note that you may not live in Waco. That's all right. Maybe you live in Dallas or maybe you live in San Antonio. Maybe you live in Houston. Maybe you live in Mississippi. You can put your icons where you live because you need to be going in the field where you live, not where uh, we are in class because this is an online course, right? All right, so now that we've got our document saved over here, we're going to come up to File and do a Save As. And this is your drop-down menu, and notice it's a PDF. So you select that, hit Save. Okay. So once it finishes, it'll actually convert it into a PDF. So everything you turn into Blackboard needs to be in a PDF format, not a Word or some other type of extension. I'm only going to grade PDFs. It's the easiest way, the most dependable way. It doesn't contain viruses. It's that they're just much better use of the process. So it's going to save it, and then we're going to get busy uh, showing you how to in send me an email with that through Blackboard. So the next step is you get to Blackboard. So we'll come in and we'll get you to the course Blackboard. Once you get to the Blackboard or to our website, here's your Blackboard. You know how to get in. You guys have seen that already. You'll get into your course. And you'll be looking for this section right in here that says Blackboard Message Center. You're going to create a message, this one right here, and you're going to select two. You're going to select me, and if it's you, good. Uh, if it's yours, you send it to yourself. Put your name in the subject line. Okay, come down and attach a file where it says Step Three Attachment. And we are going to say the PDF, not the Word version. And I'll show you what happens. Once it submits this thing, you will have a document submitted to the Blackboard Message Center for your assignment. Now, you're going to use your Word document to cut and paste these into the little boxes that we were working with on our Google Map. So it should go very smoothly for you if you have a backup plan. So coming back here, I would take the information that I made in each one of these little boxes. Remember, the way you do it is you come in and open the original map. If you ever get stuck, just open the original map. And you're going to use the marker and you're going to drop them and put your boxes. So remember, you put your name and then you put your title. This would be Cameron Park. And then you would write your description right here and include your photos with the right citations. If you don't like yours, just ditch it. Once you save it, there's a place to trash it that's here. But if you start doing that to other people's work, that doesn't, isn't very nice. So uh, that's why you have a backup plan so you protect all of your work. And that's why I require the PDF to Blackboard before you uh, finish. So now I have an email in my inbox. And look, it's assignment number one. I'll open it up and show you what I see. And once you have your document, this is what I will see. So make sure that you have saved everything as a PDF. Make sure you've saved it to the Message Center. Just to be clear, the Message Center looks like this. Create a message and always put me in the two box. Make sure you put your entries on the map. And make sure you're in the section where you see the actual active map and you can uh, add this to the whole process, meaning to the map. You want to make sure they're at the map. If you need to add an image, that's where you add an image for your deal. So this should get you started on your assignment. Always feel free to call with any questions you might have. Get out there and go see some great stuff for your assignment number one. Bye.